Good morning. Hayyim Yayim, Tesai Nisan, the second day of Pesach and the first day of the Aymer. So the Rebbe starts off today's Hayyim Yayim by telling us that the Talmud tells us that the first night of Pesach is called Lel Shimurim, the night that Hashem looks out for us and protects us and guards us from all evil forces. And the reason that's so is because back in Egypt, on the first night of Pesach, God released a destructive force into Egypt. And that evil destructive force killed all the firstborns. But Hashem looked out for the Jews. He protected them. And for all time, says the Talmud, on the first night of Pesach, Hashem is looking out for us. He's protecting us. And because of that, the usual nightly prayers we say every night, asking Hashem to protect us and keep us safe and guard us, it's not necessary to say those prayers on the first night of Pesach. And we don't say them. You only need to say the first paragraph of Shema and the Hamapu. Says the Rebbe, though, that only applies to the first night of Pesach. On the second night of Pesach, you do need to say the Kriya Shema. You have to treat it like a regular Shabbos and Yom So that's the law the Rebbe tells us. Then the Rebbe proceeds to say that it is our custom to introduce the four questions, to introduce the Manashtana with the Yiddish words, Tate echfregen fir kashis. Father, I want to ask you these four questions. And the Rebbe says that even if someone's father has, God forbid, passed away, you should still keep saying these words. And in the source that this is taken from, the Friedrich Rebbe shares a story about his father, the Rebbe Roshab, that when his father, the Rebbe Marash, passed away, so for the first several years, the Rebbe Roshab used to say these words out loud by the Seder. He used to say, And then in later years, he wouldn't say these words out loud, but before he started the four questions, he would whisper something. And the Friedrich Rebbe says, I don't know for sure, but I think he was saying these words, The Rebbe then proceeds to say that the precedent for this concept, that even after your father passed away, you should keep saying these words, can actually be found in our daily prayers. In benching, we say the words, which translates as, Hashem, please bless my father, my teacher, my mother, my guide. And a Jew is meant to keep saying those words even after their mother or father has, God forbid, passed away. Chas v'shalom. Now, in the source that this is taken from, the Friedrich Rebbe adds one more story about his father, the Rebbe Roshab, that he was once standing at the desk of his father, the Rebbe Marash, after the Rebbe Marash had passed away. But suddenly, the Rebbe Roshab took on the stance that he would take when he was talking to his father, when he was having yechidus with his father. He leaned on his hands as if his father was actually there, was actually present. So that's that. Now, in a different sicha, the Friedrich Rebbe shared a story which is related and very, very interesting about the Alter Rebbe. That by the Alter Rebbe say there, so the way it worked was first all his sons would say Tate Echlobayachfegen Firkashis, addressing the Alter Rebbe. Then the Alter Rebbe's grandson, the Tzemach Tzedek, would say Tate Echlobayachfegen Firkashis, addressing the Alter Rebbe. And then the Alter Rebbe would say Tate Echlobayachfegen Firkashis. And the Friedrich Rebbe heard this from his father, the Rebbe Roshab. So when he heard it, he asked his father, who was the Alter Rebbe addressing with the word Tate? Who was he addressing with the word Father? And the Rebbe Rishab told him, I don't know for sure, but I think it was Achi HaShaleni, which is a biblical figure from Allahim. And when the Friedrich Rebbe heard that, he said, why in the world would the Alter Rebbe address Achi HaShaleni, would address this biblical figure as Tate, as Father? Why would he do that? And the Rebbe Rishab told him, he told him, you are a big talker. Because everything the Friedrich Rebbe used to hear, he used to write down, he used to record, he used to tell over. And that's actually why we know so many, how we know so many stories and so much history from the Friedrich Rebbe. So the Rebbe Shab told him, you're a big talker, but I'm asking you, please don't repeat what I'm about to tell you. Don't tell it to anybody. And the Friedrich Rebbe never shared with us what his father told him, the explanation he gave him. Now, one more thing from the Rebbe, our Rebbe, once at a Fabrengen, the Rebbe talking about this concept explained that obviously only a tzaddik only a Rebbe has the power to actually schlep down and draw a neshama out of Gan Eden, out of heaven. Only a tzaddik has the power to draw someone down into this world that they should actually be present, that they can actually address them. He says, when we do it, we don't have that power. We just do it out of love and respect for our parents. Have a great day and have a happy Pesach.